Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are discussing the question paper pattern of class 10 standard mathematics Karnataka State Board. So in this video we are discussing the question paper pattern branch wise weightage that means the marks how many marks we can expect from the different branches like algebra, arithmetic and geometry and other some branches and also what kind of questions we can expect from each chapter a very important uh, video and it is worth watching before starting our preparation for the examination just i want i would like to remind the date of examination that is 2nd april uh, is our uh, examination so my best wishes from my side for that examination so let's start our session with the chapters what are all the chapters we have discussed in the 10th standard so we gone through two textbooks for mathematics that is one mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 so we have come across eight chapters in part 1 it starts from arithmetic progression up to real numbers we have studied eight chapters I have mentioned the different chapters on the screen and also another seven chapters in the part 2 so all these 15 chapters are divided into seven branches so in our 10th standard mathematics the weightage by the board is given branch wise not chapter wise so divide divided the complete class 10th mathematics into seven branches so what are all the branches first the first branch is number system so we have one chapter in that uh, branch number system so a board is allotted these are all the marks not given by me it is given by the case e web case e e a b board so it is uh, four marks given for the chapter real numbers and also the second branch is algebra the maximum marks out of 80 is gone to the branch of algebra there are four different chapters in the algebra that is uh, arithmetic progression pair of linear equations in two variable quadratic equation and polynomials very important uh, branch because there will be a one four mark question and we can expect sometimes we have two also in four mark section and minimum two questions in three mark section that means four plus four eight plus six we will get 16 marks in only in two parts that is 3 mark and 4 mark very important branch those things we will discuss later next the third branch is trigonometry introduction to trigonometry and applications of trigonometry so here also 9 marks is allotted in that minimum 3 or maximum 4 marks will go to applications of trigonometry and remaining Five, or 5 marks or sometimes 6 marks for introduction to trigonometry. The fourth branch is coordinate geometry. A very easiest and very simple chapter coordinate geometry. We have only 4 formulas to find out the distance between the two points, the section formula and the midpoint formula and also area of triangle when the vertices are given. So only four formulas from that chapter we have five marks. Very easiest and scoring chapter for 10th standard. So the next uh, fifth branch is geometry. Very important and most of the students will feel difficulty to score the marks from the branch of geometry. But in 10th standard it is very easy because 17 marks is allotted for the branch of geometry. Out of 17 a minimum theorem one theorem will be given for uh, from the chapter triangles for minimum four marks sometimes it will be for even five marks also and one theorem will be given from the circles that means minimum seven marks we can expect from the branch of geometry seven marks from the theorems only and another five marks will be for construction that means in total seven plus five 
Scoring 12 out of 17 is very easy. Now, the remaining 5 marks will be gone to 3 marks for triangles, 2 marks for circle or 2 marks for triangles and 3 marks for circle. That means we can expect only 2 or 3 questions from the branch of geometry and that to be for 1 mark or 2 mark. It is very rare to get even 3 mark because already there is a theorem in from circles in 3 mark section. There is a theorem in 4 mark section. So, definitely they will give more problems for 2 marks. The taking the problem again for 3 mark and 4 mark in geometry section is very less. So, that it is better to practice simple and easiest problems in triangles and circles. Now we will move on to the next branch that is statistics and probability very easiest uh, branch we can expect 9 marks from this branch. So generally 6 to 7 marks will go to statistics and another uh, 2 to 3 marks will go to probability. So the last branch is mensuration there are 2 chapters in the branch of mensuration one is areas related to circle and surface area and volumes. So 10 marks is allotted for this branch. So generally 5 marks each sometimes, sometimes 6 marks for surface area and volume and uh, 4 mark or sometimes it is 7 and 3 also. So uh, we can't expect that but to, in total we will get uh, 10 marks from this branch. So these are the 7 branches. So algebra, geometry, uh, stats and probability, mensuration, trigonometry, coordinate geometry and number system. And this is the marks distribution given by the board. Now we will uh, go for question paper pattern what is our question paper pattern it is we all know the question paper pattern because already we have written two preparatory examinations one we uh, seven examination in the same pattern so it consists of eight mcqs objective type question each carries one mark and eight one very short answer type question that is eight marks so in 16 marks we have one marks questions and another eight marks is given for what uh, Two mark question in that I have mentioned two here. This indicates the internal choice. Out of this eight question, there are internal choice for two questions. Internal choice means in the same question we have a two questions. We can we can attend any one of them. If you know both, if you have time, you can attend both. So the question which get the maximum marks will be considered, and the lesser marks will be left so that uh, it helps in the point to help the student there are internal choice are given for two questions in two mark section there are nine three mark question among them for four marks we have four questions we have internal choice and there are four long answer type that is four mark question and there is a one internal choice for one question and also there is one five mark question this is our question paper pattern there are 38 questions Compulsory question 38 questions we need to answer so for 80 marks. Now, what are all the theorems we can expect for examination? So, as I told, we have to answer two theorems in an examination. So, one is from triangles and one is from circles. The four important theorems from triangles are I have mentioned here. One is Pythagoras theorem. Basic proportionality theorem, areas of similar triangle and angle angle criteria. So, among these four, we can expect a single question for minimum 4 mark or sometime 5 marks. How they give it for 5 marks? They may ask state and proof. That means you need to write statement and also proof. If it is proof is given, it will be given for 4 mark. If it is a state and proof question, it will be for 5 mark. For what questions we can ex expect for 5 mark? That is 1 Pythagoras, basic proportionality and angle, angle, angle criteria. So, they may ask these 3 questions in form of state and proof. That is, it is better and it is very important to practice the statement. We can't write the statements of the theorems and definitions in our own words. So, you must, uh, you must practice as it is in textbook. And there are two theorems and circles, so we can expect one theorem for three mark. The next is most expected questions. What are all the easy questions we can expect for the examination? So when we say most expected, the, my first view goes to the graph of solve, graphical method of solving linear equation. Very simple, easy and scoring. 
and sometimes we may lose marks without writing the scale without mentioning x axis y axis without mentioning origin right so it is better all these basic things body of the graph you have to remember what are all the things we have to write the second one is goes to construction five mark so five mark from the construction next uh, problems on coordinate geometry so very easy actually it is five marks it is given but why i wrote four means if they have any confusions in between also then also it is very easy to score so one problem from distance formula one from section formula and area so if you practice these three will get one one mark and one three mark definitely so that's why I given four mark for coordinate geometry and problems are mean mode median so it is better to practice all the three if you feel very difficult then it is better to go with mean and mode it is enough if you practice mean and mode because in all the question papers what we have seen from previous years there will be an internal choice for this if you practice mean and mode you can attend any one question and why i am insisting for mean and mode means it is very easy uh, to remember and there is no more steps to find mean and mode formulas are also very easy to remember the next one is ogu so construction of a graph for the grouped uh, uh, frequency next uh, similarly division algorithm three marks we can expect from a division algorithm we have very less problems uh, in the exercise so practice such kind of problems to score uh, full marks in division algorithm so and the problems and zeros of a polynomial you may get it for minimum two marks sometimes for a three mark so how they may ask question so they may give a, a quadratic polynomial you need to find out sum of the zeros product of the zeros and you have to verify by finding the by finding the uh, zeros in the uh, actual method and you have to verify the relation or else the sum and product they may give and they may ask us to find out the uh, quadratic polynomial and solving a pair of linear equation and quadratic equation so sometimes there is a chance of getting questions from both for two marks each that means for total four mark or else definitely one question will be from either linear equation or quadratic equation and the nature of roots uh, that is a discriminant of a quadratic equation b square minus 4ac from that you may get two mark and problems on hcf and lcm and also i missed one more concept here that is very simple irrational numbers problems and irrational numbers so from real numbers i have given only hcf and lcm very easy and also along with this it is better to practice your problems and irrational numbers also next from the trigonometry see by just by go throughing trigonometric ratio standard angles and complementary angles minimum three marks can be scored so the proving problem if they given proving problem it will be given for three mark so but in both the preparatories we got it for two marks so the maximum marks you can score from the trigonometry by practicing without identities only you can score maximum we have only one question from identity but the remaining questions will be from either trigonometric ratios or from standard angles or from complementary angles next is nature of lines that means intersecting and parallel and coincidence and kind so if you practice only this much you can score 40 out of 80 marks so with this in from which chapters we can expect four marks see I have mentioned only from this chapter it is enough to uh, practice the lengthy question that is linear equation theorems on triangles division algorithm surface area volume quadratic equation arithmetic progression applicable. if you practice only this uh, questions we can attend all four mark and five mark questions you can leave other chapters the last two uh, areas related to circle and pair of linear equation it is very less because from those branches already four mark questions are given and it is uh, taking in the same branch the probability is very less so that uh, i have mentioned 50 percent of uh, probability of getting a, a question from those two so a uh, five mark again if it is a four mark from triangle then five mark will go to surface area volume if it is four mark from surface area volume five mark will go to theorems and triangles so uh, have given techniques to what how we can uh, manage the timings in the examination for mcqs so uh, try to cover uh, within half an hour that means try to cover the examination complete the examination in two hours 30 minutes and take the another 30 minutes for uh, cross verification and uh, uh, checking the answers 
so with this uh, i am going to conclude my session so i hope uh, it uh, help all the students to score better marks all the best on second thank you